In this example, first we have to multiply the decimal number 27.4 times 10. How we do this? When we have to multiply the number by the power of 10, we have to count first how many zeros we have here. We have one zero. So what it means? We have to move the decimal point one digit to the right. So this is equal. First we will copy 27.4 and next this decimal point we have to move to the right side because 10 has one zero. So we move one digit to the right. So the decimal point will be after 4. And how we check if the solution is correct? When we multiply ten, times 10, the number should be greater. We have 27.4. When we multiply it by 10, we got to 274. The number is greater. So everything is okay. Next, we have 87.5. We have to multiply times 100. So first, when we have to multiply by powers of 10, we check the number of zeros which we have. We have two zeros. So it means we have to move decimal point two digits to the right. Let me copy first our decimal number. We have 87.5. Like I said, we need to move two digits to the right because we have two zeros two zeros so we move one place second two places to the right and the empty spaces we always fill by zeros so now the decimal point is after zero so we have eight seven five zero decimal point one more time, when we multiply by powers of 10 decimal number, we check how many zeros we have. Two zeros, it means we have to move decimal point two places to the right. Always to the right when we have multiplication. This is my solution.